Hey, what up guys? Welcome to the second installment of Richie's Classic Sneaker Reviews. Today I got Andrew Fung here. What's going on? And we're gonna do the Kobe 9s. One, I would say price point is not too high, it's not too low. I say sometimes when you feel like the shoe is too low in price, it kind of discourages you from believing right. in that it's a good shoe. You tend to think that, you know, a cheaper shoe is lower quality or it doesn't have the technology. Um, also know that Kobe wears these and Kobe is one of the greatest players ever. I feel like Kobe's game is the most versatile out of all of the stars like Durant and LeBron. So with that said, more people are gonna uh, relate to his game and try to mimic it. It's true, I mean, especially speaking from an Asian guy's standpoint, I definitely relate more to the way Kobe plays than as opposed to like a LeBron or Kevin Durant. <laughs> Honestly, Kobe's are really good shoes. Like, only in the in the Kobe line, there's probably only been like one or two pairs that people really complained about. Yeah, I knew right when I got them how much I liked them, right when I put them on. Just feel like you could do some, uh... Oh, the wiggle, the mamba. So I'm not saying how it feels on my foot, I'm more saying what it does inside of the body. It gives me that. Mm, okay. I, I look at my defender, I say, you, you pray right now. It's lunch time, it's lunch time, I'm finna go to work. I really felt like when I tried these on, and I think you were there when I was at the store, I tried them on and I said, yo, this is the best shoe <laughs> I've did, ever put did. on. You're like, I yo. really, I was caught off guard because I- you came from the CPs. Yes, I was coming from uh, the Jordan brand CPs, which are cool shoes too. And if you can get those cheap, I would recommend those too. But honestly, when I slipped this on, it was like a glove with like a stable grip on it. And I just felt like I wasn't, I was wearing like a really comfortable grippy socks. So the EM stands for engineered mesh, and this is the ones I have. I have the EM Hyper Cobalt, and you hoop in them. I hoop in them. For me, I have the Kobe Elite Lows, Beethoven's, which is made out of fly knit. Uh, a lot of people wear these for um, lifestyle shoes because they look so good. They but look for me, I was just like, I'm gonna hoop in them, you know? <laughs> I would say hooping outdoors in these is really gonna wear out the rubber, especially on these. I have a clear rubber, which is said, oh. which is theorized to even give better grip on hardwood floor because it's even in a way softer. So soft rubber, what it does is it grips to the floor uh -huh. as opposed to hard rubber. So soft rubber on indoor courts is actually better, mm -hmm. but soft rubber on outdoor courts is not as durable. So go to your Foot Locker, stick your nail into the rubber, and if it leaves a uh, print, you're not wearing them outdoors. These retail a little bit more than these. These are what, 170? These are 150. And these are in the 200 range, so you're gonna be paying a little bit more price, but they're made out of fly knit, which is a lot harder to make and a lot harder a lot harder to manufacture for Nike. Yeah. Um, all this whole part is fly knit and it's all made out of one thread. So this is all together in one thread. Yeah, you can tell the production quality on this is just a little bit higher. Full length Lunar Lawn, so it's not Air Zoom, it's not just a Phylon midsole, it's uh, something different. It's what Nike has been developing over the past like decade, you know, Lunar Lawn. It's like a really, really lightweight, Foam. And it's weird because honestly, I come from wearing a lot of like Zoom Air. I love Zoom Air, it gives me that push. And so putting on these Kobe's, I was like, oh, it's a little bit mushier, a little bit more foamy feeling. It almost feels like you're gonna bottom out and you can touch the ground sometimes. But I actually don't get that feeling, surprisingly. But I do know that this, uh, that this cushioning does wear out over time, but it's oh, gonna yes. last longer than the Kobe 8's. The one downfall of this shoe is that it looks really good, but it actually gets really dirty because it's a white mesh, mesh upper. So even though I'm not hooping outdoors in them, if the bottom of the other guy's shoe got some dirt on it and he steps on my foot, as you can see, it is very dirty. I mean, these are just gonna get dirty, period, whether you're hooping indoors or outdoors. I don't know, they're hooping shoes. I guess I don't care that much. Nah. All right, guys, thanks for checking out the video. Hopefully, you guys learned something from our review and talking about the Kobe 9s. Uh, let me know in the comments below what shoe you want me to review next or if there's a shoe you really like and you want me to talk about. Just leave it in the comments. Peace!
Alright guys, thanks for checking out the video. Check out this video and check out this video. Hopefully our review on the Kobe 9s helped you guys out. Please leave in the comments below what should you want us to talk about next. And until then, I'm out. Peace!